shimmery and absolutely just as glowy as possible. The sun has hit your face. I am just a new ah. Tess! Helen! Ah. The, 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 the. I'm an April so You're welcome. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, a makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today we are going to lean into the fact that it is close to actual summertime. Currently, I have my foundation on. I will have everything I mention, wear, all that stuff in the info below. I'm doing a foundation review, well, skin tint review currently, so we have that on. And we're going to see how that lasts, but today I want to just create a beautiful bronzy summer look without any powder products so all cream products that are gonna last you that aren't gonna budge but give you that like just really natural summery glow vibe so let's get started so first off i really want this look to be shimmery and absolutely just as glowy as possible so i'm going to start with my bronzer and underpaint from there I'm going to be using the Tower 28 Bronzino Bronzer in West Coast. I've talked about this for the past several months. It really gives you that real sun-kissed look with a little bit of golden shimmer in there. So it actually looks like the sun has hit your face. And I love this bronzer. It has enough red in there to give you that look of like actual real sun. So I really appreciate that. Currently, my skin tone is an NC20 and I'm a little bit self-tanned, so West Coast is my ideal shade in the range. But look at that. Doesn't it just give you like a really nice uh, sun-kissed look? And I'm going to take this all across my cheeks and fake a little sun without the damage. So I apologize if you are new. I am currently in the middle of a move. We have people in the house that are like looking at the electrical and just figuring some things out. So the dogs are going a little crazy. Helen and Tex are, you know, doing their best to protect their mom, but it is a little bit annoying. And if you do see anything in the studio that you would like improved, I'm talking, I know my sound quality needs to be improved. It's kind of an empty room right now, I'm trying to get all my lights and mics set up with new cameras and things like that. But if you could give me feedback, and let me know what you think you would like to see in the studio or lighting, things like that changed, please feel free to drag me in the comments. Okay, next for blush, I really wanted to lean into warm tones that really give you a sun-kissed, you know, like a faux, you've been out in the sun look. So for blush, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush in the shade Coastline, which is this really beautiful kind of deep bronzy blush shade. And I want to say it's really like a deep burnt peach, so it's going to give you, you know, a new... Tess! Helen! It's really going to give you a really nice um, faux sun-kissed look, but it's going to look like blush. It's not going to look like you put, like you put just bronzer on, you know? But it still gives you a sun-kissed bronzy look. I thought I'd be cute and try my little beauty blender again, but I honestly just like the, the butt of the big one because it's just faster. It gives you more coverage. And of course, I'm gonna drape. I've been loving draping for the past couple of years. It's just such a beautiful look, and now it's like on trend, so that's great. So feel free to bring your blush all the way up. For concealer, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette, uh, the Space Sculpting Palette. I love this palette so much. But today I just really wanted, because I've been bronzing and contouring with this, but I really wanted that really pretty glow that the, oh my god, Tower 28 bronzy you know, and coastline gives me. I'm so curious. Do you guys have anything crazy planned for the summer? I really don't. Really just getting the house situated. Girl, a vacation is not in my near future. So if you have a planned vacation, please let me know because I can just go ahead and live through you. The only powder product I'm going to be using is powder. And I'm going to use the Jones Road, the new tinted face powder, but I'm going to use the shade Translucent with the Jones Road powder brush. 
I really like this powder. I always set my concealer. I feel like I've yet to find a concealer. Well, I feel like Makeup Forever's Velvet Matte doesn't need to be set, but I never have luck with not setting my concealers because they always wanna crease up on me, no matter what, no matter what concealer it is, it could be my favorite. I just, I have hooded lids, so I have a lot of creasing, you know what I mean? I love this face powder. It's so lightweight and it doesn't look like you just applied a bunch of powder to your face, which is really nice. And ah. Tess, Helen! All right, I just did my brows. Now it's time to move to the eyes and I just wanna keep it simple and bronzy. And I recently purchased these from Hourglass. This is the Boyer eyeshadow stick in Solstice in the Boyer waterproof gel liner in Chestnut and they go beautifully together. So I'm just gonna do a quick look. If you are not familiar with this formula, I went over this in a video last week. It's very silky and just blurring and lightweight. The, in comparison to the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Sticks, those feel a little creamier, a little heavier, a little more pigmented. You get a little more pigmentation payoff, but these are just so different. I wouldn't even put them in the same category as the uh, Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Sticks. I love both and I still use both. Uh, Solstice is just this really beautiful, like bronzy shade and it's not too red. I do not personally like or enjoy eyeshadow that is a little bit too red. I think it looks harsh on me. It looks beautiful on other skin tones and other people, but just on me, I feel like it looks a little harsh. If you have, if you struggle with creasing or anything like that with cream shadows or eyeshadow sticks, I think this would be a really great option for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to my lower lash line as well. And this stays up round. I have been using these. It's so warm outside. I've been outside doing things around the house and this does not crease. The Boyer eyeshadow stick does not gather any weird spots in my on my eyelid. I have hooded lids, so it's really important that my cream eyeshadow products don't do things like that. And I'm just gonna take a nice little stiff dome synthetic brush and just kind of blend this outward. I feel like you need a stiffer brush to get this eyeshadow stick to move around as much as you like because it's not as creamy and emollient as the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Sticks but you still have work time, but once it's set, it's set. And I'm just applying this right over, by the way, my concealer and whatever I set with the Jones Road Tinted Face Powder and Translucent. Like you can apply this on top of concealer directly and it will not crease. It's pretty impressive. And I feel like you get the, 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 the sheen, the shine, the glow from a cream product, but the wear time and the look and feel of a lightweight powder shadow. So I'm just gonna blend with my finger as much as possible and then go back in with the stiffer brush. This is a Sigma Precision Round. Any synthetic round dense brush will do. And one thing I like about the Hourglass Warrior eyeshadow stick is that you can blend it out without it losing its pigmentation. And here go my dogs again. I'm an you know what? I'm just gonna consider it ambiance and let it go. We're not gonna be at this stage for long. And I'm just gonna take this underneath my lower lashes again. And I'm gonna blend until my heart is content. And now I'm just gonna build up the Hourglass Warrior Eyeshadow Stick and Solstice on just the very tops of my eyelid, just to give it a little more pigmentation there so you look like. Throwing tips! So it looks like you have a gradient there. And Now it's time for the eyeliner in Chestnut. This is the Hourglass Warrior Waterproof Gel Liner Eyeliner Gel Waterproof in Chestnut. And I'm just going to actually apply it to the outer portion of my eye and water lines and smudge it outward to give myself a little lifted kind of cat eye look without having to actually, go, you know, create a winged liner. I'm just gonna go right like that. Just a little triangle, you know? 
whatever that voice was. And now I'm just smudging upward and outward. And if you have more almond shaped eyes and you really don't want to make them look smaller on the outside, just go up with your brush and down like this motion instead of this motion. If you already have kind of a lengthy outer portion of your eyes or you just don't want to close up your eye, you can just keep it right around here. But I like extending the length of my eyes a little bit in the outer portion. The, 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 the okay, I had to kind of do some of these, this other eye off camera because my dogs would not stop. I'm going to go back in with that domed brush and continue to blend this eyeliner up and out and in to give a little depth to the outer portion of the lid. I really love the Hourglass Warrior waterproof gel liner. It doesn't budge and you can blend it out and it, they make it so easy because it's just a twist. It's not a sharpening situation, but you can get precision and I really like the twist functionality of this eyeliner. Going out and then back in. And you don't have to take this much time if you are in a hurry, but you get Solstice, the Hourglass Voyeur eyeshadow stick in Solstice, and then the eyeliner in Chestnut. Oh girl, they look so good together. Okay, and just to make sure it's all melded, I'm just gonna lightly apply Solstice right over Chestnut, and then give it like a little duochrome feel and look. Oh, I really like the way this turned out. And I'm even gonna do that on the lower lash line. I love shimmery, bronzy, imperfect type of eyes. You know what I mean? Where's my eyelash? Oh, ah. Tex, Helen! Ah. Eyelash curler found it was in the back of my drawer. Not cool. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And, woo! Girl, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. I love this mascara. It lengthens, it's black, and it's a tubing mascara, so it doesn't smudge or flake. And it has just been a favorite of mine these past few months since I purchased it. And I'm very picky about mascaras because I have hooded lids, so my mascaras always want to smudge and flake. Isn't that so good? Oh, I love this mascara. It also doesn't weigh the lashes down, which is nice. Because my lashes are not the most naturally like curled on their own, you know? Ready that mascara is the whole eye look. It's so good. And if I wasn't talking, this might take me 20 minutes. All right now. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going to create a highlight out of this palette. I love just mixing all of them. But today, since we're doing more golden bronzed look, I'm gonna use the gold and the champagne side and I'm just gonna mix some. It's the best part of this palette. You can just really create your own deal. What the heck was that? And I'm just gonna apply a little more gold. I'm trying to use this little sponge. I thought it would be fun, kind of a pain. I feel like my hands are even too big for this. Oh, it's so, so pretty. Oh my God. And now I'm going in with just the gold up and around my temple, a little on my nose, a little goes a long way. And then I'm gonna go on the tops of my cheeks with more of the champagne shade, just so we have like a lighter to darker stitch. Oh, it's so super pretty. Okay, I can get carried away. I need to stop because I'm doing this foundation review and I don't want to cover up its own thing. Okay, so there's the highlight we created. Ooh, so pretty. And the eyes are so simple, but very bronzy. And really, if you have any green in your eyes, oh my God. The Hourglass Voyeur eyeshadow stick in Solstice and the Hourglass Voyeur waterproof gel liner in Chestnut really bring out the green. All right, so for lips, I want to go bronzy. I've been obsessed with, actually, wait, or so should we go like nudey? This is the Jones Road, the lip tint in Nude Mauve. I think we need something different. Hold on. Ah. Tex, Helen! Ah. Okay, I swapped out Nude Mauve for Mocha Rose Shimmer because it actually has shimmer in it. So first I'm gonna use the one size. What is it? It's such a cute name. Lip Snatcher in Rent Dew. It is the perfect, if you haven't heard me rave about it yet. Warm, deep brown. All right, there is a rent dew on its own. It's really pretty all over the lips too. And this is the Jones Road, the lip tint in Milk Rose Shimmer. Mm-hmm, good choice. This was a good choice. 
If you have not tried their lip tints, there's like just enough pigmentation, but not too much, you know? It's still like, hmm, it's a tint, but like a little, a little edgier than a tint. Ooh, girl, I'm ready for a warm cocoa themed type summer with these products. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. I'm just gonna correct my lip liner really quick because girl, I have been, I feel like I have not been able to get a handle on applying my lip liner. <laughs> it's just like, what? especially around my mouth. I don't know what the deal is. All right, there we go. Whew. All right, you guys, here we have our warm, bronzy, creamy, bronzy, cocoa, summer look. And again, if I was not filming this, this would take me like 20 minutes. I love quick, bronzy looks for the summer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, take another look. And while you take another look, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out so much. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content. So you'll see more of it in your feed and subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you try any of these products. This lip combo is it, son. Wow, I am, I wish I had somewhere to go to be honest. But girl, you. If you're not new, you know I love brown. Look at me now. Mm -mm -mm. Brown out on the town. I love it. That's all for today. I'm gonna hydrate and continue the rest of the work day, but I'm obsessed. And this is the video that never ends. You just, you just realized that, didn't you? Everything I used and mentioned will be in the info box below. So if you have any questions about what's on my face, it's all right down there. All right, goodbye you guys. Ooh, I feel bronzy and gorgeous. Ah. Tess! Helen!